So the Five Nights at Freddy's VHS tapes just took a dark turn. And I know what you're thinking. FNAF VHS has always had dark elements to it. What makes this one any more different? And you're gonna find out. Hello there, internet dwellers. My name is Baz and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are reacting to more FNAF VHS tapes. And I have to say the list of tapes we have today, the creators, the videos, they are phenomenal. And some of these are criminally underrated and they're gonna need your help to grow in the algorithm. So be sure to check them all out down below in the order that I watch them and show them some love. And if you're a fan of analog horror, FNAF, all that good stuff, consider subscribing, turning the notification bell on and uh, just supporting the channel because it means a lot to me. This is the majority of my content. Content. Without further ado guys, we're going to jump into the video. So the first video we're going to be looking at today is called Retrieve FNAF VHS and this is by a creator we haven't actually watched on the channel before called Blue Crown Productions. The description says this, this tape was given to us by a 17 year old boy named Lewis. After we watch this tape, it's clear to say we need to do an investigation on these animatronics. He will not get in trouble for breaking in. Fazbear Entertainment, uh, 71194. Here we go. There's no captions, so we're gonna have to do without. It's a sound I make when I feel like I just shit my pants when I was a kid. <laughs> I never shat my pants, guys, okay? I promise, I didn't, shut up. Ooh, I like the, I like this, I like this already. It's got a good vibe, let me go back. Stop the planet, breaking quietly. Get my friend Sammy's jacket. Then get out. Talk about a jacket. Quickly, I'll have 20 minutes. This looks very realistic. I gotta say that. I love the 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 realism of this yeah, one. It looks no. really good. I get it. All right, and uh, oh, and there we go. Do you just lock pick that, or did he have the key? I thought he said he was. Did he say he was oh, wow. break? This is cool. It's very cool. I, I like this. Yeah, this is. I like this design of the uh, the the pizzeria. This is a really cool design. Whoa, oh, oh. This is awesome. That's creepy. Now, um, back on track. Wow. Okay. This. Hang on a sec. Before I go any further, I'm gonna subscribe to this channel. It's like a the most realistic VHS I think I've came across. The models look good. The camera movements good. The sound design's good. I need to find a jacket. It's Voice acting's not bad. It's a bit. It's very kind of uh, what's the word? Um, natural. Who the enjoys these things? Yeah, this is cool. Seems like there's something here. Oh god, yeah, go peek behind there. And send it to your office. Wait, he's after a jacket. Well, let's send this door. Ah, what? Probably key in the office. Uh-huh. Ooh, did you hear that? I was it like a kid whispering, can you hear me? Or something like that. Office. Listen. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. This is really cool. Let me see here. Oh, that was really nice. I like that. I like subtleties where it's like only the, like, if you're really paying attention, you'll you'll hear it. And the person behind the camera doesn't hear it. It's like we're, we're catching up on things or catching things that this person can't. And I think that's what makes found footage horror very, very good. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you don't like me pausing. But I just got to give my two cents. Was, it's just me watching a video, basically. So what they did there was the audience knows something that the camera person doesn't. And therefore, there's a disconnect and there's tension there. There's anxiety there. Because you, you just want them to... Oh, would you look at that? The key was just there. Well, isn't that interesting? What's that noise? Oh, shit, you're dead. Oh, my God. Something's coming around that corner. Okay, well. What, what, what did I do? Now. What the fuck is that? Ugh. Realistically speaking, this is my only... Let's just play it through. Let's just play this through. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I just gotta... Show us Amy. She doesn't look up I'm not going back to that place. Right. I'd say the sound design was good up until the end bit there. 
Like, yeah, you can hear the footsteps, but you'd have been able to hear the animatronic. Like, that thing weighs a ton. You'd have been able to hear that run behind. And I know, like, obviously, realistically speaking, there's going to be no music. But this is, I feel like, a, a subtle kind of ambience, like a, like a humming or something, as the chase scene was happening, would have gave it a lot more tension. But other than that, I thought it was really, really good. And th this creator here, Blue Crown Productions, deserves a lot more uh subscribers a lot more exposure to to youtube so guys please go check out the channels down below they will be all in the description in the order that i watch them go watch the videos for yourself from the looks of things they've got loads of different ones here and each of them could be really good look at it look, look criminally underrated we're moving on now guys to from what i've seen of like just scrubbing through it it seems to be very dark i know the fnaf in general is dark but this seems like it kind of takes a step further. And the only reason I say that is because of the context or like what's included in this. We'll see. So this is Valox and it's called Birthday Boy. Valox has been doing sensationally these past couple of days, these past couple of weeks. And I love to see it. Like I said, I've always been rooting for him. Very talented creator, VFX artist. And you guys, if you don't know him, go get to know him. Okay, go subscribe, like, watch their videos. Fantastic creator. So the description says this. Recorded 11.04.2000. I will do everything in my power to find you, Vanessa Hawkins. She is getting too close to my work. I know. I'll give her the job. Another beautiful disappearance, just like the old days. Maybe it'll bring more people in looking mourning over a loss by visiting the place just like before maybe it means more customers she's given a fake name how cute if i could just read just the animatronics facial record and i don't know what the hell happens here william afton i think that says i know you can't um hear me it's hear me but uh i miss you every day jeremy God, I miss you every day. Damn. Fifteen years is a long time. It's a long time. Yeah. And it's difficult for me to find closure when you were just taken. Interesting. From me. So suddenly. <laughs> I miss you so much. Damn. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, this, this is very dark oh, undertones. Or just not even undertones. It's over, this is overtones. So this Mom is Jeremy. Mom and I miss you too. Oh. <laughs> Dad, get to handle himself at the funeral. He had to step out. Damn. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Why would somebody do that to you, Jeremy? Oof. This is really good. Very good voice <laughs> acting. Jesus. Make you feel things. Props to the voice actor. Actress. Yeah. <laughs> gonna find him jeremy okay so that's who was getting close this is vanessa speaking now she's looking out of grief <clears throat> which any parent kind of would which I, I you know i do feel sorry for like the parents or like you know the siblings of people who might go missing um or just like someone's murdered and they you just you have no closure and it must be horrible to go through that like every day kind of thinking you're not doing you know your son justice or your parent justice you know whoever it may have been it, it can't be a, a nice feeling at all that's that's horrible I'm gonna find him. oh vanessa it makes you hate the antagonist even more though so i feel like maybe that's what the fnaf movie didn't do a lot obviously there was this whole you know <clears throat> just the animatronics are possessed and stuff but it never really kind of made you feel hate towards the actual killer itself which i think could have been done better but there's only so much you can do and keep the age rating at the same you know at the same time everybody can finally find some kind of closure yeah happy birthday there's five party hats so there everybody else has the same fate as you 
Because no child deserves that. There's that blood underneath, man. It was his birthday as well. Damn, that was cool. Oof. See how simp simple this is, guys. It's so simple. Like, how effective this is. Like, t t what are we looking at? We're looking at a guy... Obviously, there was context building up to what we... And you don't need to go over the top with showing things and, like, you know... Exposition, exposition, exposition. I think that was beautifully summed up at the start there with it's a mum who's mourning over her son, I presume. I think it's the mum, right? And, you know, she she wants to kind of get to the bottom of it. She doesn't want the... She wants closure, basically. And then, obviously, Spring Bonnie fades into shot. And nothing's happening, but you get the context here. The man with the knife, pool of blood under the table... It says all that needs to be said. And the fact that he laughs about it afterwards, it makes you hate the character. Oh, jeez. And look at that. Jesus. Who is this? Is that another child? My God, what an absolute psychopath. Blow out the candles, little one. That was super dark, man. Super, super dark. <laughs> what the? F oh my god! Oh, there's Chica. There's Bonnie. Oh, is this them kind of like realizing, holy crap, we're animatronics? Like he's looking around as if to say, shit, wh what is happening? A thousand yard, you know that meme of the soldier just looking, looking, yeah, that's, that's what Bonnie looks like right now. You know what's crazy about this, actually? I feel like what just happened there is, so this Vanessa person was like, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And what she doesn't know is that her son is possessing one of these and she's going to end up getting killed by her son, perhaps, who's possessing one of the suits. Imagine that. That is just like... What's the opposite of poetic justice? Oh, man. Birthday boy. That was... My God, Valox oh, it just gets better and better with every single upload. Like, genuinely, one of my favorite FNAF um, creators out there. That was, uh, we, we've actually got another one of Valox's uh, videos last that we're going to check out. But guys, seriously, go check out Valox, man. That was a fantastic video. It just goes to show storytelling is best done simply. Like, yeah, you can have like shots that have double meanings and stuff like that. Or like subtext to what you're trying to say. But it's the simplicity that really keeps you hooked. And that's what Valox is really starting to learn here through their storytelling. Because not only were they really good VHS artist, VHS? VFX artist, but they're becoming a really good storyteller. And yeah, I'm all for it. So uh, awesome work, Valox. Keep up the good work. So the third video we're watching is by another person that we've never watched before called Spoo Barrett. I came across these, most of these myself, by the way, guys, on the, I was looking through recommended, but let me just quickly go through my submissions to make sure. Okay, so Valox themselves has submitted some of these, well, at least the, the second video that we're going to be watching. But I don't, I don't want to just, like, if there are people here that have submitted in my Discord, which you can join down below, by the way, then I want to I want to say it. Because I remember there was one one person who recommended Valox. Hellhound Clown. The one before that I found myself. But yeah, thank you, Hellhound Clown, for the submission there. Appreciate it. But yeah, we're going to move on to this one now. This is Spoo Barrett, like I said. It's called Abandoned Diner for VHS. We're just going to jump straight into this. Can you do me a- oh, dang. Probably want to take off a lens cap. Okay, are we live? Are we live? Uh, no, we're Memorex. Even better. Wait, what? Okay, really? So yeah, check this out. See the sign? This property is under video surveillance at all times. Wow. See? Okay, it kind of Almost works. like someone would want to steal this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, hopefully we can get the camera where it can pan all the way this way. Okay, first thing I'm noticing straight away, the voice acting is very 
like this is obviously a group of young people who are trying to get a thrill out of exploring an abandoned pizzeria with supposable animatronics inside maybe they've heard about the rumors of them being haunted and you know it it, it give it gives off the vibe of like early day youtubers like obviously this was before youtube was a thing but it gives me that same kind of vibe that urban explorers do where they're but you know they're highly energetic they're ready to go they want to catch something uh, but they're about to catch something that they really didn't want nice look at all this great secret contraband stuff <laughs> very natural i love it i love the voice acting it's very natural props to the voice actors because it makes you think how they did this that's very true because it actually sounds like they're behind the camera doing this you know what it gives me it gives me it gives me no three road vibes you're ever wondering the differences in three two one oh look because it, it might listen this is going to sound a little bit sadistic right but i do sometimes i do wish i don't wish harm upon anybody but these urban explorers i do wish something actually like strange and psychotic happens and they're like oh my oh my god and then they like run out of there you know what i mean just to kind of humble them a little bit to not mess around and like take things so lightly you know you got to take things with caution don't wish harm upon anyone like i said that's a cool design for an animatronic. That reminds me of the, um, I think that might be the model for the juniors, maybe. Uh, I might be wrong. You need to pick the camera up. What would have been a nice little, like, kind of detail there is if the camera was picked up and you hear the kind of, because that was like a low-pass filter they're using there, and it kind of got lifted. It's almost like the, the camera was on the microphone, so the, the voices were muffled. I think that would have really immersed me. Let me show you, because we have right here on the floor a, a beautiful example. Now, this is a probably a late 80, early 81 model based on the way it's put together and the way the cosmetics are. Uh-huh. And here's what you what you look for. He's got the nice, long, thick fur. He's got very prominent cheek dimples. See how long these are and how this really bulges bro, out? Bro, bro, you're getting too close. <laughs> wow, that was sick. Okay, I really like that. Oh my god! Is that a person there? Oh, that was so good. Hang on, how many views has this got? This deserves a lot more. And a lot more subscribers, my god. Th these young people, man, are so talented nowadays. So we've got a good uh, a good list of videos today, for sure. That was Abandoned Diner by Spoo Barrett. I've just subscribed. Go check them out for yourselves. Yeah, fantastic work. Really, really good. So we're going to end with Valox now. And like I said before, Valox is just be get getting amazing with their storytelling. Really, really good. And they obviously recommended this one themselves on my Discord. Which, by the way, like I said before, join it down below if you want. Submit me something scary in the Scare Baz submission channel. And if I react to it, I will give you a shout out. Recorded 08-23-2005. Today, we investigate another abandoned building called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It was abandoned in the 80s after the company Fazbear Entertainment failed to weave their way out of a huge lawsuit case, still spoken about today, to do with five missing children. Decades after the event and people still talk about what happened and, as usual, ghost stories began spreading. I think it's safe to say that they might just be true. Josh Wilson. So, so this is going off the idea that Freddy Fazbear's Pizza was literally shut down for good. There was no reopenings. There was nothing like that. It just became an urban legend. And obviously these urban explorers are going in similar to that last video that we watched. So here we go. Last video by Velox, Abandoned Childhood. Let's jump into this, guys. Okay. CC's on. This place has been abandoned for a very long while now. It was just sort of forgotten about. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we're all aware of the ghost stories going around about this place. Yeah. You know what's awesome Great. about this design as well? Is that that was the first... I remember when Five Nights at Freddy's first came out, this was the image that was used to say that, oh, it's. I remember it was like based on a real game and people were like calling up 
to see because they believed it was based on the true story. I'm sure we're all aware of the ghost stories going around about this place. Yeah. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Where fantasy and fun come to life. Looks like other people have already been here because I can already see that the front door's been left open. Mm-hmm. Wow. Why is it not chained up? Probably was. Well, it certainly is creepy as shit in here. Yeah, you're telling me. That's a cool little menu. Oh! Shitting hell. Shitting hell. That's a very English thing to say. Or is it? I don't know. So from what I know, they tried to keep the place running even after the incidents. And it just but wouldn't of course, work. Business wasn't exactly booming the same way after all that. No, I can imagine. I assume it was a whole different vibe back then. Mm-hmm. This place was full of the smell of pizza and the laughter of children. Yeah. So many people must have been And the in screams here. of children you know, around. dying and nobody seems know. to film it for others to see. They're scary, man. Like, I, I kind of thought, imagined when I was on set of the FNAF movie, I always kind of pictured what it would be like if no one was around and it was just me in that kind of pizzeria location looking up. And it, I, I was around like two or three other people, obviously, like recording. But I remember getting this feeling like, man, this would be creepy as shit if I was on my own right now. That is literally just a, a blow up pool. With some balls There's inside. I guess that's course. what a ball pit is. It Reminds me of that. News, even years after. Her parents still Who the hell would come in here and do that? I guess it's like a protest almost. The owner wouldn't hang that up. They'd frame it. We're so proud of this. <laughs> There's absolutely no way there's still power in this place. Maybe. You're going to turn around and Freddy's going to be there T-posing. I don't know why they would set up a table in here, of all places. Blood. Looks wait, like someone dropped wait a food. sec. Hang on. Is that the same food. as the last video we watched? It should take me to the kitchen area, I think. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It's not connected, is it? Was that other one connected? I didn't, I didn't read. Because that last one was really good. I enjoyed that last one. There's a pizza on the wall. Hello? Oh, it's Chica. Oh my god! Hello? Hang on, what? Okay, I'm confused. Oh my god. Oi! That's nasty! Yeah, we saw nothing, Chica. We saw nothing. Go ahead. It's cool, man. Go ahead. We'll close the door. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, no. Well, whatever goes right here, the place is all yours! I'm going! Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm I am confused with that one because it was closed. The place has been closed down. Why is there a fresh ass security guard just sat there? Oh my god, look at that god, face! You gotta be kidding me! Huh? I'm just trying to leave like you wanted. I'm sorry. Listen, he he fucked around and he found out. He's just standing there menacingly. Nice. Bit of logic. Oh god, I'm bleeding. Did he manage to escape? Ooh, okay, interesting. Nice. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused with the whole why is that guy there? Unless, hang on a sec. No, 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 no. So he said it all looks like someone's already been here, but was it? Was that? The night guard looking after the place. I guess it was the night guard looking after the place, right? That's what the movie's all about. Like, it's an abandoned place, but you've got to look after it because the dude's sentimental. Well, there we go, guys. Hang on a sec. There, there might be more to this. Oh. I love this soundtrack, man. FNAF 6. 
fantastic. It's got uh, the one thing I've got to say about FNAF that I don't think gets enough credit is the soundtrack, the sound design, like that's used, the music. Like I use it a lot in my videos. I was probably in this video for all I know. Forbidden Nocturne, it's called. I think it's Sister Location. It's really good. And this one's obviously Pizzeria Simulator. But yeah, I enjoyed that. That was freaking cool. Um, th those were a good list of videos right there. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, go check all of them out down below. Leave a like rating. Uh, watch them in your own time. Give them watch time because seriously, that's what matters in this YouTube game. If you watch a video all the way through, YouTube will look at the channel and go, okay, they're watching this. They must be doing something right. And then they'll recommend more of the videos. So yeah, go do that. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, when why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe? This is the majority of my content, analog horror, FNAF stuff, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.